In this tutorial, we'll see first how the media is processed on our software Cross DJ, and then we'll take a look at how the collection works on the UMix Control Pro. The lower part of Cross DJ is where you find media. The collection is the source from which you can search and find tracks. We recommend our users to use the collection as a source rather than iTunes or the Explorer. The collection offers more flexibility and it's designed to show more relevant information about the tracks you want to play. To add songs to your collection, you can either search through your computer with the Explorer or load your iTunes library on the interface. Drag and drop tracks on the collection section of the interface. To load tracks with the Explorer, Click on the Explorer icon, then locate the tracks on your drive. Again, drag and drop the tracks into your collection. Once this operation is completed, you can analyze the tracks in your collection. Cross DJ calculates precisely the BPM of song, which makes mixing beats really easy thanks to the sync tab on your controller. To analyze a track, right-click on the track and select in the menu Analyze Media, then Peak and BPM. You see the track is being analyzed on the percentage count on your media list. Once the analysis is completed, the BPM of the track will appear. We recommend you do this for all the tracks you want to mix. You can also import a single file or a folder to your collection. The Playlist tab of your interface has two functions. It helps you prepare your sets, and it also has an autoplay function, which mixes your tracks automatically. To add tracks to Playlist, you can either drag and drop your media, or right-click on the track and select Add to Playlist in the menu. To remove a track from your playlist, right-click on the track and select Delete Media in the menu. Now let's take a look at how the autoplay function works. Click on autoplay in the playlist interface, then hit play. The track which has been played or is being played becomes gray in the playlist. At the end of the line, you see which player it's being played on. You can adjust the transition length on the fade section. To play the next track on the list, click on the next arrow. For the previous track, Click Previous. Also, this function offers the possibility to repeat tracks or shuffle tracks. In addition, you can create different playlists by clicking on the plus box in the lower left hand side of the interface. You can name it, then add your media and it's ready to use. To remove a playlist, click on the minus box. Browsing with the UMix Control Pro. To browse from your collection, simply scroll down the list of tracks using the Browse knob. For a fast scroll, press Shift at the same time. You'll then be skipping every 10 songs. Once you've found the track you wish to play, click on either Load A or Load B, according to which player you want to assign the music to. As a security feature for your mix, it is impossible to load a track while a player is currently playing. To deactivate this security, go to File, Preference, and in the General tab, unclick Security Mode. By default, you need to pause before you can load a track to a player. To search throughout your collection, our software has a search filter in the upper right side of the collection interface. Type the name of the song you want to find, and the filter will do the work. To navigate in the Explorer tab, you will also be using the Browse knob. Click on the knob to get to a subfolder. To return to the previous level, press Shift plus Browse. To show folder content, press Load B. To hide folder content, press Load A. Once you've found the track, click on either Load A or Load B, according to which player you want to assign it.
Browsing in the iTunes pane. It's the exact same method. Just use the browse knob. Again, for a fast scroll, press shift and scroll. If you want to move down your iTunes playlist, click on the browse knob. But if you want to move up, press shift and click on the browse knob. Here again, to load a track, press either load A or load B, according to which player you want to assign the track to. Finally, browsing from the playlist tab is done in the same way as browsing from the iTunes tab. Once more, we're using the browse knob. For a speed scroll, press shift and scroll the browse knob. To move to the next playlist, click on the knob. To move to the previous playlist, press shift and click on the knob. Here again, to load a track, press load A or load B according to which player you want to assign the track to. For more information, go to www.mixvibes.com. Thank you very much.